Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fast Lane Truck and behind me the 2015 Ram Promaster City. This baby packs a 2.4 liter engine that puts out 178 horsepower and 174 pound-feet of torque. It is the Tiger Shark 2 and it is hooked up to a 9-speed automatic transmission going to the front wheels. It has the best in class payload at 1883. That's 1,883 pounds. We have it for a very short amount of time and we are just north of Phoenix, Arizona and we're driving this to Flagstaff, Arizona. Phoenix, right? Yeah, we're, we're still north of Phoenix. We're leaving it right about now. Okay, and we're heading north to Flagstaff. That's right. But for this drive, we only have enough time to do one thing and one thing only, and that is to evaluate its highway MPG. And this is not a great scientific s test, right? No. We're just, we have about, what, 120 miles yeah. or so of the highway. So we just reset the uh, trip computer, right? And That's all we can do. What are you do. getting now? Right now, according to the trip computer, exactly 27 miles per gallon. Ambient temperature currently is 85 degrees, Ooh, so it is warm. It is warm. Yep. Uh, air conditioner is working really good, by the way. Yeah, um, and we're in the middle setting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, I mean, this is. Uh, we're, we're, we like snow and ice and cold best. That's this yes. whole thing. So, Colorado. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So anyway, it's doing pretty good so far. We'll see. Um, we'll, we'll come back in a little while and see how it's doing further down the road. This acts as two things. It's the lock and the door handle. Okay. Then you can push it down and lock it. When you pull it up, it unlocks all the doors. Did you know that the four high gears in this are overdrive? Oh, four gears. Four. So six, seventh, eighth, and ninth. Th that overdrive. Well, that explains why it gets really good highway MPG. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's been doing pretty well. Now, now, um, now, 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 now keep in mind, guys. We we just kind of. We've just been through major elevation changes. We went from like 1,100 feet to well over 5,000 feet, yes. up and down and up and down. It's been really windy. Our average economy now, after about 100 miles, mm -hmm. is 24 miles per gallon. So that's more of a combined MPG, which is along the lines of what FCA said about this vehicle. Our average speed has been 60 miles per hour. Uh, our travel distance is 122 miles. Probably about 20 of those miles have been off the highway. There are a lot of variables in this test, right? Yes, there was yeah. high wind. Yep. Although this van is fairly stable. We could feel it. Yeah. We could feel it, but it didn't want to wander off the highway. It you was just a, could feel it kind of hit the van. Right. Then we had crosswinds and we had the headwind. So pretty good air With elevation change yep. and a strong headwind in yep. this test. As a vehicle as a whole and the potential that this one has, so far so good. Yeah, I think it's relatively quiet for a, you know, basically a working van. Yeah. You know, we have seats behind us, but you it's, know, it's, it's not a minivan. Base, this right. is this is a working van that you can use to hold people. Yeah. And cargo. And cargo. So for the fast lane trip, this is Nathan and Andre. And it's just starting to rain, <laughs> so the timing's Holy really cow. good. I know, just plop. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. See you soon. But there is one complaint right off the bat. The seats are comfortable, but they have an adjustment for the back, the seat back. For the tilt? For the tilt. Thank you. God, I can't speak English today. And um, it's a knob, and it's not an easy yeah. knob to use. Oh, it's like a it's like a European vehicle. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh uh, well, oh. that's the problem. Okay. Americans don't like that. You want to know why you don't have that on most vehicles? Because Americans don't like it. Mm -hmm. They like a lever. Pull a lever and lean forward and have it pop up okay. with you. So that needs to be fixed.